This is an unboxing of the Hamilton Beach Juicer. I got this from Walmart. It was on sale for $59 and I think 98 cents. Now when I scanned on the Walmart app, it was saying it was $84 and I went in the store, it was like 84. I was like, mm-mm. Um, it was in the $59 spot. It was like $59.98 spot. So I was like, hopefully it rings up for this. So it did ring up $59.98 for this juicer and i needed another juicer guys i had the black and decker one um and i don't know what happened to that thing guys but i didn't really like it anyway because it's like once you juice the uh juice it like it had a lot of pulp in it it was so foamy i was like mm -mm, i just want straight juice so hopefully this one do well okay hopefully this makes actual juice without all that pulp and foam Ugh. so we're gonna try it out and see okay so it comes with the instructions um and i'm gonna try to do this with one hand <clears throat> okay let's get this bad boy out hold on i'm gonna pause it so i can get it out okay guys i got it out the box okay here's the instructions let me move those out the way and this is where you catch all of the hulls and stuff guys that's the skin you know off the whatever you're juicing so that's here then you have the cup and inside of the cup you have this brush to clean it with which is awesome and this is the juicer here okay okay and this is the top it said you can put whole apples in here okay yes I'm so excited to use this y'all and um is simple this is how you take this tray out you're going to, on both sides it has they got it taped up here but on both sides you have these little flaps here you're just going to pull out and it's going to open up so that you can take this top off um my battery is low guys on this phone so i hope it don't go out if it do guys then no i showed it to you at least i showed you i got it y'all okay it just has so much tape on this thing hold on let me try to pause it and get this tape off y'all okay now i got all the tape off this stuff y'all this is the top part the handle which you stick in here to smoosh your fruits or veggies or whatever you want to grind up just to push it down there and then there is a cat at the door guys so i don't know if it's a stray cat or mom's cat or whatever it is just out there and then this is what goes on the back of here and here's the cup that you put in the front and this is the brush to clean the um the blade tray so you just turn it around here and then you put this on the bear in the back right here which I should have had this in the kitchen but it goes there this is where the juice come out here and then you're going to put this cup up against it so it can come out, y'all. Okay, so you just sit it right here until it come out. And this is how you take it off, okay? This is how you take it off. On both sides, you have this little flap that you're going to pull out and it releases, okay? Well, you pull up. So I'm going to the other side so I can do it. Y'all, I, I broke my um, tripod today. Yep, I side on it. See, I'm pushing up. And once I push up, it's going to pop out and then it's going to come down. And this is how you get 
this off, okay? That's how you get that off, and then you have to stick your hand up in here and push up, and this pops out. This is the tray, okay? And the blades are on here. So the sharp blades. I cannot wait to use this thing right here. Hopefully it do better than the Black & Decker, which I'm thinking is probably going to be the same. So you put that back in here. And then this is a little brush they have to go to it right here. And it goes in like this. And you clean it, okay? You're going to hold this in the dishwater or whatever and scrub. So it is simple, guys. It is easy. Now, they had a ninja one in, in the store, and it was complicated. I was like, mm -mm. it came with like three different filters, and I was like, not today. So you take this out like this. And this is the brush you clean up and you just screw up like this. It, it's just like this. And it's brushes on, on all the sides. Look. Brush, brush, brush. So you make sure you get it clean, okay? Just like this. So I'm excited to use this thing, y'all. I just don't know. I've been trying to juice my food and stuff in my blender and... It's just when working out, okay. So that's how you do it. You just stick that back off up in there. Easy to clean up. This is the only part that takes some elbow grease. It's just this right here, okay. But everything else just rinse off and it's good to go. So you put this on like this, and then you're gonna push those sides back up on each side right here, and push down, and it's okay. Let me try to do it with one hand out. I don't have the top all the way on here. But you make sure you put the top back on there. You're going to push this back up and push back down. It's going to lock. Okay? Then you push it back up and it's going to come back open. Easy. Simple, simple, simple. I love this. I got this one because it was simpler than the um, than that ninja one. And it was the ninja one was kind of like small, but it had where the pope had the it like you gotta select the pope you want. Do you want like less pope, more pope, uh, medium pope? And it has three different filters in it. I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't have time for all that. Gotta change our filters and stuff. I just want to juice my stuff and go by my day. Yes, but that is it, guys. I'm about to go wash this thing up really, really, really good and see if it works say yes but that is it for this video guys i love you guys and i will see you in another one Mwah!